Well, folks, welcome to another Friday Fishing Forecast, and by the looks of it, it is going to be a beautiful weekend. Beautiful weekend. I was so excited. I was getting my boat ready. I was getting everything that's going to put the boat in the water this morning. Got everything in there. Got ready to go. Turn the key and nothing. So I've tried everything, and I cannot find anywhere where this thing is... Um, where it's it's I, I think it's the main wire harness I'm not sure but it's uh, it's it's not working so the most beautiful day so far that we've had this year Chad and I won't be fishing cannot believe that but as you probably know we have a full moon this weekend so full moon does affect the fishing somewhat and uh, I think that the salooners that are going to be happening this weekend especially the major is going to be really really good in the afternoon it was on the last full moon that we had that's when chad and i caught those big grouper offshore so definitely uh you want to be in an area where those fish are staged up at for that major feeding time so let's go ahead and get into those those majors and minors and the tides and everything else and we'll talk about what we have upcoming this next weekend Okay, so for Saturday, we have a low tide at 7.42 a.m. at a negative 0.58. Then we have a high tide at 2.04 p.m. at a 1.17 foot. And then another slow outgoing tide till 7.03 p.m. at a 0.40 foot. Then on Sunday, we have a low tide at 8.14 a.m. at a negative 0.42. Then we have a high tide at 2.25 p.m. at a 1.28. And then we have a low tide at 7.54 p.m. at a 0.17. So as you can see, it's a pretty hard outgoing tide in the morning and then a pretty decent incoming tide into the afternoon. And then it kind of, once it crests over, it's going to be a slower outgoing tide. Um, but like I said, the majors and the minors, especially the major in the afternoon coming off this full moon because it's going to be clear skies at night. So that moon is going to be really lighting up everything and those fish like to chew at night so if you like to do some night fishing this is the time to do it i think the, the fish are going to go off at night and on this major feeding time in the afternoon that's what i've experienced on full moons where the the fish have a tendency to eat later in the day than earlier in the day because they ate all night unless it's been very cloudy and there wasn't a lot of moon moonlight then the bite has been better in the in the mornings also so let's go ahead and talk about the, the major and minor salooner times. On Saturday, we have a minor feeding time from 6.53 a.m. to 7.53 a.m. And then we have a major from 12.11 to 2.11 p.m. Then on Sunday, we have a minor from 7.31 a.m. to 8.31 a.m. And then we have a major from 1.02 to 3.02 p.m. So then again, what, what I'm kind of trying to express is those major feeding times in the afternoon on this full moon and uh, you know the weather is going to be absolutely beautiful this weekend i'm kicking myself so so bad i can't figure out what the problem is with the boat i was so excited because chad and i were going to go offshore and see what we could find i was i was not really going to go look for hogfish because i know the hogfish are from some reports that i've heard are starting to kind of move off a little bit out in the deeper water so i was kind of hoping that i can go out and find some maybe some big lane snapper or some mangrove snapper um, but unfortunately it just is not going to happen, but it is what it is. You know, it's a boat bust out another thousand. But anyway, uh, we have some major things coming up this coming weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend, we will be at the Tampa boat show at the fairgrounds in the Sunray Marine booth. And we'll have all of our gear there. We'll have all, all our types of jigs. I have rich back there building as many jigs as I possibly can have him build. And then we'll have our cast nets, we'll have our chum droppers, we'll have our, our bait cutters. So we'll have our hats, we'll have everything there. So if, if, if you're not busy that weekend, right now the weather forecast looks like the winds are supposed to be 10 to 15 miles an hour. So if you don't feel like going on the water, you want to come and shoot the breeze with us, or you want to come up there and buy some things from us, please feel free to come up. Ask all the questions that you want. We have nothing to hide. We'd like to help people go out and catch fish. This is what this channel is all about, and that's how this channel has grown. And I appreciate everybody coming by and, and kind of giving, giving me uh, their outlook on the channel and, and what they like about it. And, and it just keeps me going and keeps me thinking of what kind of content that I can bring to the table. Again, 
I wanted to go out this morning, do a little bit of filming, talk about what I'm looking for in new spots, go try to find some new spots inside the bay. Uh, unfortunately, it just did not happen, but it is what it is. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, you can email us at info at tampabayfishingchannel.com. If you have any questions, if you have any comments about content that you want to see, please send that to me. Again, I want to say thank you for all the support. It's been unbelievable. As I say every week, it just keeps getting better and better and better. So thank you very much for that. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side. Oh, <laughs>